G'day everyone, Spud here from Spud's Games. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be running you through this RGB card I got from my JBC broadcast monitor. Let's go. So first up, let's let's just touch on the monitor that I'll be using today. So this is a, a TMH. 150 CG, so this sits at about 750 TVL, so it is quite a high resolution monitor. One of the issues with this monitor, well it was an issue back in the day, but it is today when you're trying to play retro video games, is a lot of the people who were buying these were buying them with SDI cards rather than RGB cards. So because of that, trying to find an RGB card for this particular monitor can be quite difficult. Now I had a look on eBay once I got this monitor, and the original card said about 500 bucks if I wanted to purchase one and it's an original card. But I don't want to pay that much because I only paid, you know, $100, $150 for the monitor. I'm not going to, certainly going to fork out that much money for an RGB card. So I had to look around to find out what my alternatives were. Now the first option would have been to RGB mod this CRT, which can be done. Uh, I've done a 19-inch version of this without the optional card input. So... It just had a black back on it. It didn't have any, any uh, facility there to actually put a separate card in there. The partic that particular monitor actually had the same chassis as these, but had a lot of components removed uh, because of the fact that you couldn't have the extra card there. So it was actually quite an easy modification to do. Um, the jungle was you know, quite easy to find the information on. And all in all, that was an easy RGB mod. If you go back through my previous videos, you'll find it in there. I think it was a TM... H1900C or a G or something like that. So um, that was that was that was our, that was one option was RGB modding this one, but I really didn't want to do that because there was obviously an option there for a card. So looking around on the internet, I did find a supplier of reproduction cards or clone cards, as you would call them. Um, and this one here, I managed to pick up from Retro Upgrades in the UK. It was about a hundred dollars shipped. To Australia, which which isn't too bad considering the price of the original cards. Now I believe this particular card was designed by a gentleman, Martin Heinfeld, um, who has been quite uh, proactive in pre reproducing clone cards for not just JVCs but also Sony PVMs as well. So what did I get in the package? Obviously I got the RGB card itself. Uh, the card is pretty straightforward. It just comes with I think a 54 pin IDE connector, which connects onto the chassis. Um, it comes with five B and C connectors, which are RGB, uh, H and V, so they're your sync, and then it comes with left and right audio. Now, this particular monitor only had mono, uh, but that's okay. The, the, that sound combining is done on the board. Um, and also, when we're using RGB, we only really need the horizontal sync, the vertical sync is, it do, doesn't really get used. Um, the B and C connectors on these, and actually overall, the card is really well made. It's quite sturdy. Um, it looks really good being black. I have seen other iterations of this with a big hole in the middle of it, you know, and they're blue and whatnot, but I don't like it with the hole in that because it just, for me, that, that takes away some of the integrity and the strength of the card. Um, so I like it this way. Now there is some circuit or some components on here. Now you've got to remember, this is done switching via the front panel. So a lot of these components, as well as some extra components inside, do a lot of that switching for you. Um, and this isn't just related to just the RGB terminations itself. So uh, a little bit of work has gone into making this card. It was essentially reverse engineered from the original card. One thing I will note, on the original card, you did have an in and out on each. So up, all up there was, I think it was eight or 10 BNC connectors. On this one, you only have an RGB in. Other th another thing to note is this will do component as well. So it's a combination card. And once you plug this card in the back, which I'll show you in a minute, on the JVC monitor itself, it has an A and B input, which will determine whether you use composite or S-video uh, on the A and B. So S-video will always take priority over composite. Um, and then you've got a C and D, but we only have one input uh, slot. So it took me a little bit of figuring out, to, or a little bit of work to figure out that C and D actually meant if I pick C, the, it would switch to component on this card. And if I pick D, it would switch to RGB on this card. So. Now, as I said before, there's a little bit of smarts, well not smarts, but extra components on this card to, to do things like that, as well as internally in the chassis from the last RGB mod that I did. The other thing it come with was this. So this is the little back plate for it. Um, you know, it's nicely labeled. It looks nice, matches up with the card. You know, the centers seem to be, you know, well and truly, you know, that, well, that look really good. So 
Uh, all in all, I'm really happy with this particular package. You know, it seems to be, you know, for the money I paid, I think it's worthwhile. So now for the most important part, let's get it installed. So from an installation perspective, this is really straightforward. You'll see here, this is the particular area where the card sits. You'll see a screw here and a screw here. So it's just a matter of undoing those screws. I'm gonna do now. And then we grab the two tabs and we just pull. And you'll see this SDI card just comes out like that. And you'll see the, the IDE connector on this card as well. To put the other card in, it's very straightforward. You obviously just do the reverse of what I did there. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this on this side, but there is actually two rails, a top and a bottom rail here. And they're about the width of the card itself. So you just wanna locate those two rails. Once you do, put it in a nice position there, which I think I've got. So that should be it there. And then we just slide it in. And you'll feel it sort of click in, like that. The card's installed. So obviously we want to put our back plate on. So we just put our plate over the top. And we put our screws back in. Now, don't, one thing I will note: don't over tighten these screws. This piece of, or this back plate isn't metal; it is plastic. So, by over tightening it, you do risk, you know, cracking in and around the screws here. So, don't do. I might even back that off just a touch. Let's put that back a speed on the little drill. Let's give it a half a turn back, just so I take some pressure off those two screws and don't risk actually cracking the plastic. So, there it is. There installed. As you can see, it's a really nice fit. Uh, and the colour matches up with the back of the, the, um, the CRT itself. So, let's give it a test. So here we have it all hooked up. I've got my SCART coming in from my Mega Drive uh, there. And then the SCART just gets converted to BNC connectors. We've got red, green, blue at the top. And you'll see my sync goes into the H-Sync there. Um, and then we've got our left and right audio here. As I said, this is only a mono um, CRT, mono sound. but you know, you need the sound combined into one so it gets to that one speaker. So what I'll do is I'll turn this around and we'll give it a test and see how the picture looks. So here we are with everything plugged in. I've got the Mega Drive plugged in over there. I've got power plugged in here, so we'll just kick, we'll just turn it on. We should have a picture come up, so hopefully you guys can see that there. It's the Mega Drive, EverDrive screen. What I'll do is I'll just quickly check the 240 test suite just to see what the geometry is like on this because it can change between inputs. And looking at it, it looks, looks pretty good. Let me just go test patterns. So yeah, the grid looks really, really good. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, happy with that. Picture looks really good. I'll jump back into a game. Let's play a bit of, let's play a bit of Double Dragon. So you can hear the sound there. And the sound works on the card. And there it is. So having a quick look on the camera, that may look a little bit dark to you guys, but it's certainly not dark. Um, and the picture looks really, really good. Sorry, having a bit of a game here. So yeah, all in all, that's that's pretty good. The picture quality on that is excellent. So. I'm very happy with that. Maybe I could, maybe it's just because I've got a bright room here. Could probably turn the contrast up a little bit, brightness up a little bit. You know, but um, outside of that, you know, it works really, really, really well. And I'm, I'm really happy with that purchase. Um, 
yeah, five hundred dollars compared to a hundred dollars, and I get a, a result like that, I certainly can't complain. One thing I'll note, you know, as I mentioned before, you know, if I press the C button, it, the card will actually think, or the CRT will think, it will switch to component. So sync will drop out. I'll get that purple hue, which you would expect when you select RGB or component instead of RGB. Um, I can test it, but I'm pretty confident that will that won't be an issue. Um, but yeah, just to show you that that does work uh, on that as well. So all in all, really happy. So that's it from me guys. Thanks for watching, very quick video. Thought I'd just give you an update on the purchase and what I thought of it. Uh, overall, couldn't be happier. Uh, for the money I paid for it, shipping to Australia, all that considered. Uh, and the results that I've actually got out of the CRT, it's excellent. So can't complain and I highly recommend this product. Well done, Martin. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I know that I've been slow up, up making videos, uh, but hopefully in the future, you know, I'll get to make a few more before Christmas. So please stay tuned. Thanks for subscribing and until the next video, I'll see you then.